What is up players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mode. Today I've got a very special unboxing. This is a Dark Knight figure from Kabuki Models. KabukiModels.com if you want to see more of their stuff. And it is a limited edition. This is number 205 out of 500. So only 500 of these guys were made. And I've got number 205. It's all mine! And the reason I have it is because my good friend D from Project One Gaming, some of you might remember, I was plugging him during Project Night Lords. He was awesome enough to buy this for me and ship it over to my little war boss hut. And um, so I thought it was really awesome and with the Chaos Space Marines just having been re-released or updated, the new release with the codex and all the new models, I thought it would be pretty cool to build him up and um, make him like a little Primarch for Conrad Kurtz, who is the Primarch or the big daddy of the Night Lords Legion. Um, <clears throat> and I was just thinking off the top of my head, it would be so cool if Forge World actually does a model of him like they're doing for the other Primarchs. I heard Fulgrim is getting a model. Everybody see has seen the Angron model already. Unbelievable, amazing stuff. So, I am all about collector's editions, limited editions, special edition stuff. So this is really looking forward to it. I kind of, it was a debate. I had in my mind about whether or not to to build this guy, but I really want to, and instead of just keeping it in a box, I'd much rather build it up. So my camera here is um, hand focused, so I have to actually hand focus, so it might be blurry sometimes, and I'm, I apologize if it is. So what comes here, you get all the pieces, you get a little rounded base, and this is about the size of a Terminator base, I believe. So you, know, you could stick them on a Terminator base. This is one of the Terminators from the new Dark Vengeance set. <clears throat> um, I might just keep it on, keep him on this though. Looks like, yeah, once you have the bottom piece slotted in, that sh it should be pretty comparable. Okay, what do you get? You get a little piece of sponge if you want to do a wet palette. You can use that. In fact, you could even use this. This could be a great wet palette as well. Most blister cases will be great wet palettes. All you do is fill the bottom with water. Or take this out first. Here, use this side. Fill it with water. Put a um, small little sponge. This is a proper wet palette and not a ghetto wet palette. And then put your parchment paper on top and let it set. And then you can paint off of the parchment paper. If you want to do a ghetto wet palette, you don't have the sponge. Then just fill the bottom with water. Put a paper towel if you don't have parchment paper. And that accomplishes the same thing, just a little bit less hassle and less materials and um, is only slightly different when, with the final product of you know mixing your paints and doing all of that stuff. So what do we get? We get the torso piece. Let's actually zoom in a little bit more so you can see the detail. <clears throat> it looks like he's bending down. He's got one leg propped up. Oh and look at this great detail script on his leg piece. The armor pieces look really well done. Multi layers and they have a very gothic, um, looks, I, I want to say like Bram Stoker's Dracula, that armor that Gary Oldman was wearing at the very beginning of the movie. It's very Baroque. And it's got links of chain down over here for a tabard. Instead of a tabard, it's a bunch of chain links hanging down the front. Don't laugh at me! <laughs> um, and it's got, it's even got like, it's not an Aquila, it's not a double-headed eagle, is it? Oh, it is! Look at that, they put a double-headed eagle on the chest plate. So that's very... Can they get sued? No, I don't know. I don't know if Games Workshop copyrighted that. So there's no instructions. That's the first thing that I, I notice. So I'm going to see if I can kind of figure out how this all goes together. You've got two... Oh my gosh, look at these shoulder pieces. Oh, so awesome. Here's one side. The resin I'm noting is a little bit different. It's different from Finecast and it's different from the Forge World resin. Oh, this was made just for people who want to build the Primark of Conrad Kurtz because it's got a bat winged, bat wings around a skull. So, Kabuki models, well done. Finding the motif to base your model on. It's just, it's, that's, that's really cool. Okay, it's a bat wing, bat wing skull. Then here's the backpack. Really cool, Grim Reaper, very steampunky vents down the back. 
The detail for the hood going over the skull for the Grim Reaper on the backpack here looks really nice. I think I'll probably paint this up in gold. That slot's right there. Okay, so that goes there. Let's see what else. Um, what? What? Look at this. Freddy Krueger claws. Nice. Okay, so that's the right hand. So that will go there with the shoulder pad on top. I don't know if, if it's supposed to be like raised up or kind of lower it at the side. We'll see. What is this? Oh, his leg, his other leg. Slots in there. So this is obviously it's supposed to look like he's crouching and kneeling down um, on the piece of rubble. And let's just take a look at this leg armor piece. You've got a, yeah, definitely very gothic horror kind of motifs on it. Which, for those of you who are interested in or read the Night Lord's novels and stuff, is, is very much kind of what they were all about. I'm not sure what this is. Is this a tabard? No, because the tabard is here. Maybe it goes down the back. Cape? No, the backpack. I don't know. So that I'm not sure about. What is this? What? It's like a little bird saying, hey, what's up? What's up? It's like a parrot. Okay, no idea where that goes. Here's the other other arm. Out to the side like this. I really am digging these Freddy Krueger claws. Like, it looks like the, the fingers slot right into them, so it's not like a, or it's kind of like a power, power claw or power glove. Power fist, I mean, not power glove. Nintendo! Um, where the fingers go right into the actual blades. So, that is really nice. Um, and you've got two bat wings, so maybe the bat wings, do they go... Where do these go? Oh, and his head. That's really cool. So this, the hair that's sculpted on is really nice. It looks like they've sculpted on like a, a little braid kind of thing that goes around him. Or is that like a little headband? Uh, that's probably a headband. The hair is sculpted on really nicely. The features look really well done, well proportioned. I really, I really dig this, this head here, it's really cool. Okay, so, my job is to glue these things together, find out where these bat wings and where whatever this is, and where that goes, and then I'm gonna show you the finished model, and uh, I'll glue together, ready for, um, ready for painting. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do, which you should do with all resin pieces, is wash them with a, uh, <clears throat> either with a toothbrush or with with some kind of very light scrubbing material and some soap and water warm water and soap leave it out because that gets rid of the mold release agent and that will make the paint the primer everything stick a lot stick on a lot easier with resin especially sometimes with plastic you might want to do that but um, definitely with resin so I'm gonna do that put this guy together and then we'll see what it looks like when we get back and we are done look at this players the a dark night model from Kabuki Games. We built it all up and I've decided, I don't know if this is right or not, I think it is, that this back piece goes um, right over there. So there it is and um, I found that when I was cleaning that uh, I, I think I was scrubbing a little bit too hard. I was afraid that I was actually gonna ruin the bottom of this tabard piece here but I actually, the pieces that I messed up were the little spikes that were up on the top of here like I, I ripped off one spike by accident and then I decided that it would just be they were so flimsy that I just popped off the others except for this center one other than that though like look at this amazing model who knew I mean there's no you know there's no photograph of what it's supposed to look like when you when you build it up so um, I just kind of had to guess where pieces go and I love it it looks like he's it's very Batman-esque the Dark Knight Looks like he's on the top of a building, looking down, surveying his uh, surveying his people and the world of Nostromo. And um, I love it. I love this model. Thanks to D for from Project One Gaming for sending it to me for um, as a result of our collaboration together during the Project Night Lords month. Really appreciate it. Can't wait to get some primer on him and start painting him up. And I'll show you guys what he looks like maybe later on in the month. This could possibly be a little side 
project side part to Spooky Toberfest. So let me know what you think. Do you do you like this model? Do you think it looks great? I think it looks just fantastic. If you can get your hands on one, uh, especially if you're a Night Lords player out there, then I definitely highly highly recommend that you do it because it's just it looks great. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next video.